quite an amazing feeling that Peter when when the sky's the limit. <laughs> going straight up. Going straight up, yep. There's the wing commander, he's back now with the five ship. And in front of us here they'll they'll complete a five ship Vic loop. V for victory, we call it Vic in the tray, but it's the V for victory formation this one. See there, the smoke just drifting away. In, in the harbour here in Wellington with the northerly, obviously there's quite a lot of turbulence for the guys to have to contend with there in the outside position of the formation. But over the top there, they're back, they're back to about 500 kilometres per hour and about three or four times the force of gravity inside the cockpit. And as they accelerate down towards us here in the crowd, gets up to around about the 5G mark. What that effectively means is that all the parts of your body in the cockpit weigh five times what they normally do when you're walking around. So you can imagine how he heavy your head feels. It requires the pilots, I imagine, to be super fit. Yeah, well, it's a different type of fitness. We uh, obviously try not to concentrate too much on aerobic fitness, but certainly strength, weightlifting type fitness, it's required, yes. For the final manoeuvre, the wing commander's just doing a right-hand wing over there. He'll bring the formation back towards us here in the crowd and squadron leader Gavin House will join from the opposing direction in the opposite sense and uh, he'll join in the top of the loop as the wing commander brings his formation back. There's the squadron leader there pulling up. He's got a few mathematics problems at this point of the display. He's got to judge his closure rate and match his airspeed uh, exactly uh, with that of Red 1, wing commander Sharp so that he joins the formation in a fairly safe but uh, fairly brisk fashion. It's easy to talk about it. Let's see if he can get in. Well, it looks like he's going to be struggling a bit. Maybe that Wellington wind's uh, giving him a bit of a hard problem there, Peter. Here he comes now. Right, he's going to get in there. As they come back towards us, they'll be uh, looking for the horizontal bomb vest to finish the display. Yep, he made it in. How's that for precision, eh? Yeah. He'll be pleased with that. Well, that's the display from Kiwi Red there, Peter. Thanks very much for hosting us. Well, Graham Dodson, flying officer. Uh, pity you couldn't be up on the sky today, but uh, marvellous. Marvellous uh, presentation, nevertheless. Now, there is, in fact, uh, some uh, public relations or publicity available from yep. Kiwi Red, which uh, the public is most welcome to, uh, sure, to get hold of. We've got on sale here uh, our Kiwi Red uh, booklet, which we've uh, produced at 75 Squadron. And if anyone wants to write to us, they can get hold of this, this booklet from the address that's shown there on the television screen. They're also on sale here in Wellington, and we'll be glad to uh, sell you one of these for a cheap price of $4. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Graham Dobson, thank you very much for uh, being with us. And I hope the guys uh, have enjoyed the display above the streets of Wellington today. Sorry about the Wellington wind, but it does tend to blow here just a little bit. Just right. as well the display wasn't yesterday. Great. Great. Dobson. Wonderful. Thanks very much, and uh, you, we, we enjoyed that thoroughly. Okay. We'll be back with uh, more from the Nissan Mobile 500 day on the streets of the Wellington waterfront very soon as we begin our countdown for the big race.